Well, there's nothing more refreshing than knowing that your uh, current operating system is going to soon enough be obsolete, leaving you with no other choice but to buy another machine. Is it really your only choice? Because I've got some, um, I've got some good news. Look, it isn't an easy pill to swallow. Linux. <laughs> I have been using Linux for a whole year now. And I gotta say, I have, I really have no need to go back to Windows. I mean, that's the simplest way I can put it. People need to understand that the, you know, the phantom of, of how complicated Linux looks and how much you're going to be using the CLI. You can literally copy and paste the commands that you need to use. Let's put that aside for now. What I'm trying to get through to you is if you want your OS to do something, if you want your machine or computer to do something, there's a 99.9% .9 chance you can already find that being done easily, much more easily, may I add on linux of course with the initial awareness that uh, linux isn't just one thing it's well, there's a lot of options there are a lot of flavors and it just so happens that as a friend told me once you start with a certain flavor of linux that's the one you keep using throughout the rest of your linux experience what i'm trying to say is there is a way to s still use the machine you already have without having to buy another one simply because Windows 11 demands it, or Microsoft demands it, whatever the fuck they are. Uh, by the way, fuck you, Microsoft. So simply, what do you want your computer to do? If it's internet browsing, or if it's just listening to music, you know, the basic stuff that doesn't require a lot of, you know, tinkering? Yeah, you can just simply install Linux Mint if, if that's the closest, you know, thing, you know, to Windows. Log into that and see how that works. If we want to talk about gaming, that's the story for another day. What I'm trying to talk about today is people like, let's say, our parents, you know? They have very specific, very simple need Not specific, but very, like, basic needs for a computer. Like, uh, they want the computer to uh, run their programs well, use Office programs, read PDFs, you know, as in the case of a parent of mine. Uh, you want it to uh, browse the internet. You know, the simple stuff. The simple stuff that any of us wants from a computer, right? Really, any Linux distro you run into would happily do that for you. You know, fair warning. Uh, steer clear from Gen 2 and try to go with the easy ones like Ubuntu and... Like if you don't, if you don't know what you want, just go with Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Pop OS, Fedora, maybe, yeah, you know, just the simple stuff. Oh, and also don't. There, there's a command I'm gonna be printing on this screen right now. Don't use that command. No matter how goofy it sounds and uh, all the well, how about I do anyway? Don't. It will nuke your entire system and might even damage your motherboard let's have a mini rant right there because i see a lot of people joking about using the pseudo rmrf thing i, I I'm, I'm saying it from memory you'll, you'll find the code written somewhere in the like in the past 30 seconds but people need to understand this is no joking matter this is no laughing matter this is the kind of shit that pushes people from even trying linux there's a lot of misconceptions about linux users and apparently these people fit that stereotype. I have to repeat this. This will nuke your entire system, might even damage your machine, and you will lose all your beer files. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, you want office programs? There's LibreOffice. If you want uh, to listen to music, there's Audacious or VLC. I mean, VLC is also good for video playback. If you want to edit videos, there's Caden Live. If you want to Photoshop, hey, I mean, the perfect Photoshop alternative, either GIMP or Krita. That, and also if you want an internet browser, all of the browsers are available. Chrome, Chromium, if you want Chrome without the spyware. Brave, Firefox, Vivaldi. And if you want to know more, uh, just let me know so I can do another video. This, this one's going to be scripted, of course. Whether enough people ask for this or not, I am going to do a video of uh, basically a deep dive into what you need to get linux running for someone who has very basic needs very you know simple straight to the point needs for a computer gaming is a completely different thing i might do might do another video on that alone but i am trying to focus on well windows 10 isn't going to be here for long and you might need to know what it takes to keep your machine no matter how old it is no matter how ancient it is how to keep your machine alive we've been saying this all along we, we're not going to force anyone to use linux whereas microsoft would otherwise feed on everyone's learned helplessness and just uh, have their customer support all go yeah just clean install the whole thing and just throw it in the trash because it doesn't work now and that's pretty much all of that uh, all of what i have to say for today 
again, I'm Mustafa Garib, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.